and title of my message today ah nina ujumbe wangu wa siku ya leo hands are lifted mikono yameinuliwa in the book of exodus chapter number 17 ah kitabu ya kutoka 17 starting from verse number 8 kuanzia mstari wa 8 now amalek came and fought with israel in rephidim and moses said to joshua choose us some men and go out fight with Amalek tomorrow i will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of god in my hand so joshua did as moses said to him and fought with Amalek and moses aaron and hur went up to the top of the hill underline verse number 11 and so it was when moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed yeah. and when he let down his hands Amalek prevailed but Moses hands became heavy so they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it and Aaron and Hur supported his hands one on one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun then the lord said to moses write this for a memorial in the book and recount it in the hearing of joshua that i will utterly blot out the remembrance of amalek from under heaven and moses built an altar and called its name the lord is my banner for he said because the lord has sworn The Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. And may God bless the reading of his word. Na Bwana alibariki somo lake. One more reading in the in the New Testament. Ah uh, katika Agano Jipya, the book of Luke 24. Luka 14. Let's start from verse number 50. Kianza msini. And he led them out as far as Bethany and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was departed he was parted from them and carried up into heaven and they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God amen hands are lifted mikono yameinuliwa I want you to I want you to get it by revelation. Nataka upate hii kwa ufunuo. Hands are lifted. Mikono yameinuliwa. In Exodus. Katika kutoka, the children of Israel came to this place called Rephidim. Wana wa Israeli walikuja hii sehemu ilikuwa inaitwa Rephidim. I began from verse number 8. Nilianza katika mstari wa 8. But if you begin from verse number 1. Lakini ukianzia pale mwanzo The first trouble they faced was not the Amalekite but was lack of water. Ile shida walikumbana nayo haikuwa wamaleki lakini ilikuwa ni ukosefu wa maji. They cried to Moses. Wakalilia Musa. And Moses cried to God. Naye Musa akamlilia Mungu. And God told Moses. Na Mungu akamwambia Musa People were so angry. Watu wame, wa, wananja. They were blaming Moses. Uh, watu walikuwa wamekasirika wanalaumu Musa. In verse number 3. Um, katika mstari wa tatu. And the people thirsted there for water and the people complained against Moses and said, "Why is it that you have brought us up out of Egypt watu to wa- kill us and our children?" and our livestock with dust watu wakawa na kiu huku uh, nao wakamunungunikia Musa wakasema 
Mbona umetutoa, umetupandisha kutoka Misri kutuua sisi na watoto wetu na wanyama wetu kwa kiu? These people Hawa watu were brought up out. Walikuwa wametolewa juu nje. But it is amazing. Lakini inashangaza that you can complain. Ya kwamba wanaweza lalamika to a gracious glorious thing the Lord has done for you. Unaweza lalamika ni mchangao, unaweza lalamika kwa kitu kizuri Bwana amekufanyia. They saw the water of the Red Sea parted. Waliona maji ya ya mto Nile ikipasuka. God has fed them with manna. Mungu aliwapatia chakula kutoka mbinguni. In the night they were led by a pillar of fire. Usiku walikuwa wanaongozwa na nguzo la moto. In the day by a pillar of cloud. Ah mchana walikuwa wanafundikwa na nguzo la uwingu. They have seen miracles like no other generation has ever seen. Waliona miujiza tu mingi zaidi ya kisasi kingine kimeona. But a challenge of us. Lakini a uh, changamoto ya kiu makes them to complain. Ili wafanya walalamike. So much. Wakalalimika tu sana. That they are even complaining about their deliverance. Mbaka wana wana wananungunukia kuokolewa kwao. And they wanted to stone Moses. Na wakataka kupiga Musa kwa mawe. Moses cried to God. Naye Musa akamlilia Mungu. And God spoke to Moses. Naye Mungu akamnenea Musa. He told Moses. Kamwambia Musa, "Pick your rod." Chukua uh, vimbo lako. Get some elders. Achukua uh, wase fulani and move ahead of the people na uende mbele ya watu go to a rock that is in horeb nenda mahali panaitwa horeb and i will give these people water na nitawapatia hawa watu maji from a rock kutoka kwa uh, mwamba and moses did did that na musa akafanya vile and god gave the people of israel water from a rock na mungu akawapatia wana wa israeli maji kutoka kwenye mwamba God is amazing. Mungu ni wa ajabu. That he can give you a blessing from the very unexpected place. Ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kukupa baraka kutoka kwa mahali haitarajiwi. And I believe 2023. Na ninaamini kwamba mwaka huu 23 is a year that God will give you a blessing from the unexpected place. Ninaamini kwamba ni mwaka Mungu atakupatia baraka kutoka mahali au kutarajia. You didn't hear me. How can you scare? No one expects water from a rock. Hakuna mtu anaweza tarajia maji kutoka kwa But with it God nothing can be impossible. Lakini kwa Mungu wetu hakuna chochote kisichoshe. May God give you a blessing in this year. Mungu anakupa baraka mwaka huu. From the very unexpected place. Kutoka mahali haujatarajia. May you get a call you never expected. Upate kuitwa wito ambao hujawahi. May you get favor from people you never expected may a door you never expected to open may it be open right now as i speak in the name of jesus before you may you occupy a place you never expected to ever occupy You may say pastor what is that place? The Bible is clear. You will be the head. And God will give you that place. You never expected. But God who gave Israel water from the rock. May he make you the head. May he make you above only. And now the Amalekites are coming attacking the people of God. They look bigger than them. Stronger than them. More than them in number. More armed than them. But God. Tell your neighbor about God. Hallelujah. I don't know what is attacking you right now. I want you to believe. But God. Yes. That which is bigger than you. But God. That sorcerer is stronger than you. But God, that man sitting on your promotion looks like stronger than you. 
Pack call the sickness in your body has defeated medicine. Pack call whom am I talking to? Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, bad God. So God came to Moses and told Moses, Call Joshua. Tell them to choose some men. Men of war. And that word man does not exclude women. If you are a woman, tell a man next to you, I am there. And I want to make an announcement. You are not seated here to fill a number. You have been handpicked by God. You have been chosen by God. Ah, I don't know whether you can take this. God. By his divine plan. Chose. That you are alive in this season of danger and dark darkness. You are not here by accident. God chose that you are alive in the time when the spirit of Antichrist has been poured like many waters. God shows that you are alive at the time when the pit of hell has released every arsenal in its disposal to fight the lives of men. So now I want to tell you why you are alive at this time of danger. How many are ready to take this one? You know why? You are a fighter. You may have never known. You may have never known. But now you know. God knew. You can handle a pandemic. You can fight through. God knew. You can fight through. The darkness of our time. God knew. You can fight and overcome. Touch your neighbor on the left, your neighbor on the right, your neighbor in front, your neighbor behind and say, I am a fighter. Don't make that announcement like you make it when you are shaking your head a little bit. I am a fighter. The devils are listening to you. Demons are listening you. Witches and sorcerers are listening you. Don't make that announcement. Looking cool. Look, make that announcement. Looking like you are truly a fighter. I said a moment ago. You cannot die. Let death know you are a fighter. You can fight it back. You can fight it away. Choose a man who are fighters. Go and face the enemy. But me, Moses, Mimi Moses, and Aaron, na, na Aruni, and Hur, na Hur, we will climb to the hill of the Lord. Where victories are determined. We will climb to the hill of the Lord. Where is this place called the hill of the Lord? A place that God has placed his name. Whenever you are going to a place that God has put his name, even if your legs are taking you down, you don't say, I am going down. You say, I am going up. Then 
he said me Nakasema mimi and Harun na Haruni and Hur na Huri we will go to the hill of the Lord Tutapanda mlima wa Bwana We are going to determine this battle Tutaenda kuamua vita hii Let me tell you my brothers Wacha nikwambie ndugu yangu Your battles are not here. Your battles are where you come from. But I want you to know. You've come to the place where battles are determined. determined. And I make an announcement. To all devils and demons. To all witches and sorcerers. To all agents of hell. That are scheming against you. I want to make an announcement. Devil. You have already lost. Because that says the Lord. I will pick my people. Up. Out. I want to make an announcement to that sickness. Nataka kutangazia huo ugonjwa. That the doctors have called it chronic. Ya kwamba madaktari wamesema imesidi. Because they cannot do anything about it. Kwa sababu hakuna lolote wanaweza kulifanya. I want to cast it with the curse of God. Nataka kulilaani kwa jina la Mungu. I want to rebuke it now. Nataka kuli kulikata. I want to command it to die. Nataka kuliamuru ikufe. I say I want to command it to die. Ah, on the hill of the Lord. Victory is determined. When Moses lifted his hands. Wakati Musa alinua mikono yake. Right there on the battlefield. Pale katika uwanja wa vita. The Bible tells me. Biblia inasema. Israel. Israeli prevailed. Wakashinda. Ora balabo koza. Israel. Israel prevailed. Wakashinda. Thank God hands are lifted Shukuru on our behalf. And when those hands are lifted. Na wakati hayo mikono yameinuliwa. They have scars. They are scars on that in that on that hand. Kwa mikono yale hakuna majeraha. Jesus chose to rise up from the dead. Yesu alifufuka kutoka uh, kwa kifo and he rose with the scars. Na alifufuka akiwa na ile alama ya mshumaa. He rose with the holes of nails. Ali nu ali alifufuka akiwa na alama ya mshumaa. So that forever. Ili milele yote. It will be a memorial. Itakuwa ni kumbukumbu. The redemption. Ya kwamba has happened in total. Ya kwamba has happened in total. Imefanyika kwa ukamilifu. And therefore kwa hivyo you can never lose a battle na vita yoyote i say you can never lose a battle na vita the hands of moses were up mikono ya musa yalikuwa juu and so it was when moses held up his hands that israel prevailed and when he let down his hands amalek Na wakati mikono ya Musa yalikuwa imeinuliwa wa Israeli walishinda lakini mikono ikiwa chini wa Meleki walishinda Aaron and Ur quickly got a revelation Na mara moja Haruni na Uri wakapata ufunuo Victory is not determined by the armies of Joshua Victory is being determined by the raised hands of Moses Ushindi haujaamuliwa na ule na wale wanajeshi wa Joshua lakini iliamuliwa na mikono ya Musa kuinuliwa and i came to tell you nimekuja kukuambia your victory has already been determined ah uh, ushindi wako tayari umeamuliwa by the raised hands of your lord and savior jesus christ the lion of the tribe of judah the alpha and the omega the resurrected king hallelujah to the lamb of god ushindi wako umepanda kwa sababu ya mikono ya yesu kristo mokosi wetu ah uh, Simba wa kabila la Yuda yameinuliwa. We normally seeing it is permanent. Kila siku tunaimba ya kwamba ime ime What the Lord has done for me. Kile Bwana amenifanyia. This is how it becomes permanent. Hivi ndivyo ilianza kwa kudhibiti. When God. Wakati Mungu vows. Wakati Mungu anaapa that he will utterly blot out. Ya kwamba ataitoa kabisa your enemy from under heaven maadui wako chini ya 
Because they are lifted hands. Kwa sababu mikono iliyoinuliwa. And when God sees the lifted hands. Na Mungu anapoona mikono yaliyoinuliwa. God Mungu will respond to the lifted hands. Mungu anajibu kwa mikono yaliyoinuliwa. Verse number 15. 15. And Moses built an altar and called its name the Lord is my banner. Ah uh, Musa akajenga madhabahu akaiita jina lake Yehova Nisi. A banner is an important thing. Bendera ni kitu ya ya maana. When two nations fight. Wakati uh, mataifa mawili yanapigana. That nation that wins ile ile nchi ambayo inashinda they raise their banner wanainua bendera yao he raised an altar and called it the lord is my banner akainua madhabahu akasema hii ni jehova nisi now there is a better banner kuna sasa bendera nzuri than the banner of kenya bendera nzuri kuliko ya kenya better than the banner of america bendera nzuri kuliko ya american better than the banner nzuri kuliko even of the nation of israel kuliko hata ile bendera ya ona israeli you may not see that banner labda hawoni ile bendera you may not even be able to touch that banner labda hauwezi kugusa ile bendera but right now the lord has opened my eyes lakini naona bwana amefungua mkono i see that banner naona hiyo bendera it is flying over your life it is flying over your family it is flying over your family that is a banner of the lord saying you are triumphant say you cannot be witched ah saying no devil has power over you i see that banner it is flying over your life glory to god in the highest that banner declares inatangaza that you have won the battle over sickness over poverty um, over sorcery and uh, over witchcraft you have won the battle over death do like this with me oh tell your neighbor the banner is flying the banner is flying i am triumphant i am victorious the banner the banner 2023 The banner of the Lord is flying in your life to declare you are victorious. The banner of the Lord. Bendera ya Bwana. My God. If the hands of Moses could bring victory how about the blessed hands of Jesus Kama mikono ya Musa yalileta ushindi je nisinisaidi kwa mikono ya mwokozi Yesu Jesus has already died and he has resurrected Yesu alikufa na akafufuka He knew is leaving us in a world full of battle Alijua anatuacha katika ulimwengu ambao umejaa vita He did before he left what Moses did in the hill of the Lord when the Amalekites attacked the people of God. Alifanya vile Musa alifanya wakati wa Meleki walifamia watu wa Mungu. And he led them out as far as Bethany and lifted his hands and blessed them. Akawaongoza mpaka Bethani, akainua mikono yake, akawabariki. Now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Ikawa katika kuwabariki alijitenga nao akachukuliwa juu mbinguni. I have good news for every one of us. Nina habari njema kwa kila mmoja wetu. Jesus has never put down those hands. Yesu hajawahi weka mikono yake chini. He is not a man like Moses. Yeye si mwanadamu kama Musa. Moses needed the help of Aaron and Hur. Yeah, Musa alitaka msaada wa Aaron na Huri. But Jesus needs no help of man. Na Yesu hataki msaada wa mwanadamu yoyote. Those hands have never come down. Hayo mikono yake hayajawahi kuja chini. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana Yesu libarikiwe. I don't know whom I'm talking to today. Sijui na nani na nani siku ya leo. But those blessed hands of Jesus They are still up until today. That is why when the devil comes like a flood because of their lifted hands the spirit of the Lord 
lifts a standard against the devil. That is why when you are thrown to the fire because of the lifted hands, the glory of the Lord comes down and denies the fire the ability to burn. That is why when the devil tries to kill you because of the lifted hands, God hides you under his wings and no arrow shot in the night, shot in the day can never get you because hands are lifted. They are lifted for you. And because of the lifted hands, the blessings of the Lord is coming to you. And what does the blessing do? Up. Out. Because of the, of the lifted hands, God will reach you in your pit. And get you out of the pit. God will reach you in the place you have stacked. And get you out of your stack. It's so heartbreaking. To be in one place year in year out. Kukua mali moja mwaka nenda mwaka rudi. We are beings that get bored with things that don't change. Sisi ni viumbe ambavyo tuna tuna tunachoka kama mambo hayabadiliki. And I come to tell you in 2023. Nimekuja kukuambia mwaka 23. Why are you have stuck? Mali umekwama. God is reaching you out there. Mungu anakukuta mali hapo. Because their hands are lifted for you. Oh my Jesus. Yes, Jesus doesn't get tired like Moses. Your victory is determined. By the lifted hands of your Lord. May your mind be renewed from today. Naomba mawazo yako yawe mapya siku ya leo. May failure. Mwanguko be erased out of your mind. Aha. Mwanguko itolewe katika mawazo yako. Never think failing. Usiwahi fikiria mwanguko. Never think defeat. Usiwahi fikiria kushindwa. Remember the lifted hands. Kumbuka mikono iliyoinuliwa. I know. Na ujue. You will prevail. Utashinda. You will win. Utashinda. You will conquer. Utashinda. You will overcome. Utashinda.